players to some high school soccer now. Regional Saturday here in the Hoosier State. 11 area teams advanced to today's round. But to make it to next weekend, you got to win twice. Of those 11, only four able to pick up that win earlier today to advance to their respective regional final. The Canterbury boys were one of them. Cavs looking for their 16th regional championship in program history, taking on Oak Hill. Golden Eagles with the first chance early tonight. Evan Pierce crosses one into Dalen Leach, but Saad Adabtawi right there for the save. That kid's a stud. Keeps the game scoreless. 20th minute now. Cavs on the attack. Donovan Doolittle beats his defender around the corner. Gets off a shot, but Matthew Strange gets a piece of it. Easy save for Seth O'Blins. And we're still scoreless. But four minutes later, Doolittle, the through ball to Yaya Jean. He spins, strikes, and scores. Cavs go up one. They go on to win two to one your final. It's their first regional crown since 2018. They'll face Northwood in semi-state next week. And the Cavs will be Northeast Indiana's lone representative in semi-state, at least on the boys' side in Class 3A. Carroll's season comes to an end tonight at the hands of Fishers. 2-1 to one, the final in that one. On the girls' side, Class 2A, second-ranked Bishop Dwinger looking to lock up their second straight regional title in Marion, facing Yorktown. Saints up 2-0 at the half. Adding to it in the second, 69th minute, Evelyn Harkin Ryder free, finds the back of the net. Her second goal of the night puts Dwinger up three. But just about five minutes later, Yorktown trying to make things interesting here. They're able to get on the board as Elizabeth Reese finds the back of the net. Tigers cut the lead back down to two, but that's as close as they would get. Cecilia Garrett. Always solid in goal. Saints hang on to win 3-1. to one. They're regional champs for a second straight season. It's super exciting. I'm just super proud of me and my teammates for pushing ourselves like the past four months. And we're finally just working our way back up there and just one more game till stay and we'll hope for the best with that. Two more weeks to go, um, but we need to get through the next week first. So their mindset is on semi-state that next game. Um, obviously, we've got to get through the opponent there before thinking about getting to state, but they've been there before. They won it last year, so they're confident. Saints will face Culver next week in their semi-state matchup. Meanwhile, in Class 3A, top-ranked Noblesville. Too much for the Carroll girls to handle tonight. Chargers finish their season with a 4 to nothing loss.